What's going on YouTube? It's James with Shyhammer Fantasy Battle Reports and uh, today is another episode of the WOG Workshop. It's one that you guys uh, actually requested, which was uh, how to do some really cool banners. Um, so, uh, first off, I'm trying to get used to using this camera both ways, so I can't really tell what you guys are looking at. You might be looking at my face like right in front of you, or my face might be like way over here somewhere. I don't know where my face is. Anyways, so, um, but really, the reason why I did it this way is because I want you guys to see the banners, and I need to be able to see what you guys are looking at on the banners, so, anyways. So, um, uh, if you guys know my army, if you guys seen my videos, you know that I could do some really intricate banners, and I like to do those, um, I have a lot of fun doing those, so I'm gonna go over with you a little bit of my starting process, and then I might be able to show you as much as I can. My, my camera's not gonna record that much, and I'm not gonna make, like, a two-hour video of me making a banner, but... I'm going to show you guys basically the steps I go through um, when I'm trying to make a banner. So let's go over that real quick. Now, this right here is my brother's Tusker. He is doing a uh, Tusker. That's got, this is going to be the war banner. And uh, so that's one thing that I want you guys to understand right away is understanding what your banner is. Is it a flaming banner? Is it a razor banner? Is it a, for a banner for a unit like this? this is a Tusker? Um, so um, that's something to think about. Now, I like working with banners that have like this much, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, this much empty space, you know, because this gives me a lot of room to work with. Now, uh, one thing that I try to do on a lot of my banners, and I should probably go over there and look at my banners to show you guys some examples. I don't have them all out, but I have some out over here. It is, I try to leave, this is like my green moon banner. This is on my BSB currently. Uh, that's the banner that came with Forge World. Now I want you to notice there's uh, checker patterns on this one. This one, it's an older one for me, so I didn't really, um, that the pat like the faces on there came on there. But this is a, the most recent one. And what I do is I do a lot of uh, similar things I want to point out to you. Um, I have this little red box here with a little symbol here. That's a symbol for me to know what it is. Um, basically that's the skull splitter symbol for me now. It's just like four shots. Anyways, um, over here, this is uh, another banner here. And as you can see, um, again, checker pattern. There's one banner hiding back here. You can barely make it out. That's on, um, what's his name, Grimgore. Uh, again, checker pattern, red box square with a little logo on there. There's two logos on there. Um, and then, where does the other banner go? Am I missing a banner? Ah! It might be put away still. Anyways, there's my squiggies. Squiggies, 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 squiggies. And then I, oh, I have Koopa over there. That's what it is. Anyways, Koopa's way over here. Um, anyways, so what I do is I try to keep a consistent pattern on the banners. Now, my brother's banners, I worked on a couple of his banners already, and we're going to keep the same consistent pattern. So, where the fuck did I put my pen? Oh, here's a pen. Okay. So, for my brother's army, he uses the maw a lot. All right, so the maw... This need to focus. It's something like this. Big, small, big, small, big, small, big, small, whatever, right? And it goes in a circle. Okay? So what I've done on all his banners is something... You guys get the point. I'm not trying to make this perfect. All right. The mall basically looks like that. It's a... It's a um, symbol it's gw symbol actually but um so all of his his uh banners have the maw somewhere on there to keep consistency it ties into the army so that way every time you're doing a banner you have something bringing back unification to the army itself so mine was the checker patterns which is very simple you know i do the checkers and then i do uh the red squares with a symbol in between inside oops it's not it's focusing on my finger the symbols inside the red squares i have one that's arrows for the crossbow orcs like that you know um i have one on an older banner that is the foot you know so just something that keeps consistency and ties in the army and also uh one of the 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 guys who i constantly look at for um <clears throat> what's the word i'm looking for for a uh that I look up to more or less. What the hell is the word I'm looking for? I'm always forgetting words. I'm an idiot. Anyways, 
one of the guys I always look up to for um, inspiration. There it goes is uh, Jonas Whedon, Whedon. He always he does really intricate banners, and he's the reason why I created started creating my own banners like this. Is because I saw a picture of his a long time ago. They had all his units, and every unit had a banner that matched what the unit was. So if it was a wolf rider, it had like a wolf howling at the moon. If it was a um, whatever, if it was boar boys, there's a boar on it. So I have banners based on the the feel of what unit they are. All right. Um, so, um, and that kind of gives me an idea of where I'm going with the banner. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do for this banner here, since this is a Tusker, I'm sorry the lighting's real poor here at the moment, but uh, since this guy's a Tusker, well, first off, I wanted a, a Tusker face on there. All right. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I have my piece of paper here, and I'm going to draw out the shape of this banner while I'm holding a camera on one hand and trying to do this in the other hand. All right, so the shape of the banner, even, I mean, it's crooked as hell, so it's like whoever assembled this realizes the banner's like on a tilt. Anyways, so the banner's something like that, okay? So what I want to do is, and this is something I was really interested about doing, is since we already have Maws on his other banners, he has a one with a helmet, he has one with a, the, I think my favorite banner is one of his banners that I did for the Maneaters. Um, it's a screaming ogre skull with chains on it. Um, but this one, since it's Tusker, and again, it's a war banner, what we're going to do is we're probably going to do in the background the Maw. Like I said, the Maw is in every single banner, but we're only going to do half a Maw. So we'll do the maw something like this. Okay. So this is step one. Step one is designing it on paper first. Okay. <laughs> because I can't just do this straight onto there without understanding where I want to be. The other thing I want to do is I want to add in a roaring tusker. So that way you know it's a tusker unit, right? So what I did was I googled up some images of uh, something roaring. So I got a lion here, or a lioness, roaring, all right? Roar, roar, roaring. Anyways, and what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to uh, add that tiger face here. I'm just going to do this really loosely because I can't do this with one hand, apparently, all right? And what this is doing, this is ugly as hell, ugly as sin right now, all right? But this is giving me an idea of where it's going to lay out when I get to this, all right? So it's going to cover up most of the maw, all right? So what that does tell me is I could probably make the maw bigger. I could make the maw stick out more way out over here, all right? So that way we have the maw going all the way around, and you can still see, make out the maw, Okay? And uh, it gives me some idea of where the lion face is going to be. Now the lion, I'm going to adjust it so it has, you know, tusks popping out because it's a tusker, right? And, uh, I mean, pretty much a lion face is the closest thing. A lioness face is the closest thing you're going to get to a tusker anyways. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So what I do now is uh, figure out more or less. I'm going to basically take this loose idea. Tighten it up and put it in right here. And I'm going to try to do that on camera. Again, my camera can only tape so much because um, it's on my phone and my phone doesn't have that much memory. But um, I'm going to have to plant my phone somehow so you guys can see me and see this. Anyways, so bear with me for a moment here. I don't know how to do this. I would have to reverse the image maybe? I don't know. Nope, that ain't going to work. Mm. My best bet is to stop this and put them together, the video pieces. I don't want to do that, though. Anyways, so let's go ahead and try to do something like this. There we go. Get out of the way, Red. I just need something holding it up. All right. So the next step I use is I still use this pen. I use I use any kind of ballpoint pen that has a good running ink on it. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start plotting out my lion head here. Now, he already has this pre-painted. I'm not going to change the color. I could change the color. I could brighten up the flag. If it was my mine personally, I would brighten up this green on the flag. 
But I do believe since this green is so saturated or desaturated, excuse me, that um, the browns from the Tusker will stand out more. So I'm actually going to keep it the color it is. So what I'm going to do, and for the record, just so you guys know <clears throat> why if your banner doesn't turn out the same way as mine, I do have some level of artistic ability. Um, so if you have no artistic ability, um, I would not recommend this or I would recommend it. You could try it, you could fail and you learn from your failures. And that's something that most people don't, um, you know, they're afraid, they're afraid to take those steps. And if you don't take those steps and, and, and fail, then you'll never succeed. You'll always constantly just live in this fear that you'll live with whatever. Personally, I'm not a big fan of totems. Um, uh, I don't like the totems themselves. Um, I rather have banners that have something cool on them. It, it gives it, you something different to look at, um, since a lot of armies um, just kind of stick with the totems. So that kind of gives you, when you're looking at the banners, it's something cooler to look at. You know? So, yeah, the ears are pretty close to the same. And then the teeth are down here. Now, I'm making a mess of this, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't care if I make a mess of it, because I could paint over the, the ink. So this is just giving me guidelines of where the, the teeth are, where the eye is going to be, and then where the nose is. Now I'm cross-referencing the picture that I'm looking at on the computer to the, to the actual Tusker itself to see how the noses are different. Anyways, it's not that different, so we'll keep it close. So, and then we got to add the tusks way back here. And the tusk has to go all the way forward. Alright, so I think the tusk could actually be bigger. Which again, like, it's, like I said, if I can make the mistakes on the ink, it's fine, because I'm going to paint over it anyways. So, uh, that's basically the first step of how my banner will look. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to have to kill the camera because the, I don't have that much memory left. I'm going to go ahead and try to paint um, the first base layers on this. Also add in the maw like I said I was going to. And then uh, you'll see where I get on the next step. Alright. <laughs> 